Well, nobody these days <laughs> is dealing more with more drama in their life because of a woman than the actor that was formerly known as the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, yeah. Will Smith. Um, you've seen the movie Mr. and Mrs. Smith with Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, mm -hmm. where they're married and they're both, what, Secret Service agents and they mm -hmm. end up having a mission to have to kill each other. It ends up being insane. Oh, that's so and hot. It's hot. <laughs> You're into that. Wow. Well, that seems to be like the sequel of the movie is going on in Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith's household right now. So we're not TMZ. We're not breaking, breaking news here. But I do want us to dissect the relationship, the marriage, the money, because mm. they're worth hundreds of millions of dollars, this whole situation, and then just throw in kids, family, sleeping around, other celebrities, Hollywood, the Oscars, slaps, threesomes, gay sex, throw it all in there, and we have a conversation to be had here on the Sauscast. Yeah, as our friend Aaron walks in, he's like, did somebody say gay sex? Yeah, buddy. I wish we could put a camera on that. So here's kind of what's going on here, if we can, if we can um, hone in on this. So there's been a string of allegations that have been going on against Will Smith by um, specifically his former friend and assistant, brother Bilal. By the way, is Malik in the house? Malik, don't right breathe. Man, I, I forgot that you were even there, brother. I can't even see I'm right you. I'm here. I'm hiding. Malik, I need your help on this one. I got so you. some of these wildest allegations were, we covered this last time, that basically Brother Bilal walked in on Will Smith and his buddy, Dwayne Martin, also a co-star, yeah. having gay sex. Now, Dwayne Martin was in um, Above the Rim. I think he's married yeah, he to... Was. What's that? <laughs> I said, yeah, he, he was. was. Like, around around. Oh, <laughs> Inside the rim with um, Fresh Prince. It's messed up, bro, but I'll give you that one, Emily. Let's put Emily on the camera right there. There she is. Um, weird stuff. Uh, allegations, allegations. Um, some of this other stuff that we know to be fact, that was that Jada, Jada Pinkett Smith was having a relationship with this rapper, musician, August Alsina, who's a friend of their son, Jaden. That's weird. weird. So your mom is banging your friend, but they're, 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 it's, it's sort of a weird situation, sort of the <sighs> impetus for all the milk porn that's going on out there. So they clearly had some sort of open relationship. But the other allegation is actually pretty shocking right here, which I think we have a clip that Malik's going to play, that Will was okay with Jada sleeping around as long as he knew. Talking about not lying, right, mm -hmm. Mike? Yeah. Like, just don't lie. Yeah. But apparently she lied one day. Ugh. And uh, Will caught Jada having sex with none other than Mark Anthony from J-Lo fame. Wow. And he, quote unquote, beat the shit out of her. Wait. So I'm never condoning ever putting your hands on a woman, ever. But if you walk in if he's gay, on count? your girl, banging <laughs> Mark Anthony. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, hey, what, is, what is Mark Anthony's most famous song? Ay, ay, ay. Uh, put up vida, vida. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. How does it go? I yeah, put up, what is that one? Yeah, like, vivir la vida. Sing it, sing oh, it, Maria. Yeah, I, I don't remember it. Vivir, vivir. La, 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 la. I just got you, Will Smith. La, 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 la. <laughs> Mess up. They were actually in a movie. Can you pull up that IMDb? They were in a movie together. Will and, I'm not sorry, Mark Anthony and Jada. Oh. Ironically, the movie was called, wait for it, drum roll, just between friends. Oh, here that was right there. Hey, they're just between friends. But here is what Brother Bilal had to say. He said what he said that he walked in on the dressing room of Will Smith and Dwayne Martin having gay sex allegations. I'm not believing this or not believing this. These are his words. But this is what he had to say about when he walked in, uh, when Will Smith walked in on Jada Pinkett Smith and Mark Anthony getting it on. La 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 la. Okay. Play that clip. He brought the way in a club called Zen Lounge and Will would come in there and just be drinking and like just, this this wasn't the Will. And one of the things Turn that it up. Jada has over him, Will lost it and beat the shit out of Jada. Damn. I mean, beat the dog shit out of her. That so bad that they had to make a makeshift hospital in their home so that it couldn't get out to the public. So that that pain of Will seeing Jada fucking Mark Anthony on their couch in their home, right? Because he knew they were already fucking on the the, the set. This is this is fact. 
um, he just couldn't take it and he whipped her ass. Okay, so pause much, it right there. Someone need to tape this man's mouth. He talked I mean, this much. guy he is out there much. ruining Will's career. There's a couple yeah, clips, but then we're obviously going to have a conversation right there. So, yeah. just between friends. That was the name of the movie. Um, but this is part of a larger conversation that Mike was basically saying about being honest, open relationship, one-sided, is closed on one side, open on other side, right? We know where you stand on this, right, Astrid? Mm -hmm. You don't, you're not playing that game. Mike's very, you know, real. Um, but some of this kind of, we tracked it back to a clip that Will Smith had to say uh, where this kind of all started. So we can play that clip about uh, the real reason that Will Smith became a Hollywood movie star and sort of his mindset. Here that is. I became a movie star because my girlfriend cheated on me when I was 15. And in my twisted psychology, I was like, if I'm the most famous person in the world, no woman could ever cheat on me. <laughs> All right, pause that. Damn. So I did him like that. Yeah. Why? So um, that's so sad. That's really sad. Actually. Here's the last part of this, and then we'll have a big, deeper conversation. So um, Jada just came out with a book. Uh, it was her memoir, uh, Worthy. And she made a shocking admission that they were actually been separated since 2016. Uh, but fast forward, seven years later, an ass whooping or two, some gay sex allegedly. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Jada is now saying that they're going to be, be, they're staying together forever in what they call their brutal marriage. This oh. brutal, uh, this <laughs> brutal, beautiful marriage. I'm struggling with brutal. So that's what it is. Uh, so here's this clip of them basically saying, we're staying together, we ride together, we die together. Bad marriage for life. Let's play that, Malik, and we'll have this conversation. I feel like maybe your and his shadow s separated in a way in this book, whether they stay together forever or not. Right. You know, it sounds like you're staying together we're forever. We're staying together forever. Perfect. <laughs> okay. I tried. Um, we tried. Great. Yeah. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for, for life. life. <laughs> 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 That's terrible. Yeah. So, <laughs> Mike, you're a man. You've been very honest with the ladies here. Ladies, I think you can appreciate his honesty. This is a whole nother level of nonsensical shit that's going on. If, if, you, if you were kind of coaching Will Smith through all this, and you can go back and be like, listen, Will, you're going to be a fucking movie star. Here's what you got to do. Like, what would you have told him years ago to help him avoid basically this public embarrassment? They basically called it a sloppy public experiment of unconditional love. If you were in his ear back then or even now, what advice would you have for Will Smith? Do it. Keep. Go. Do it. I'm going to tell you why. They say they riding. is ride or die. Right? Yeah. Everybody's fucked up. So, okay, they're not together they go find somebody else that's fucked up. Mm -hmm. First of all, there's a couple things. They're movie stars. They're weird already, right? We can't like look at them as a model of anything normal. It's totally nothing makes normal. Mm -hmm. They're mega rich, right? It's, everything's weird, right? Everybody around them's weird. I don't trust this fat guy, his fat ball. Brother man. below. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah. You don't were, trust him. Where were you when she got her ass beat? Say something then. Mm. What the fuck, it's however many years now. I don't trust that guy at all. Mm. You're fat. The <laughs> fact that he's fat, I don't trust him. <laughs> Not fat. I Not know fat. it. You, you indulge in food. Look, look, when people talk about the seven deadly sins, yeah. Being fat glutton is, <laughs> is an easy one to avoid. People don't know what you're doing behind closed doors. Yeah. We see that you're a glutton, right? I don't trust nothing about Damn, this Mike guy. Mike Rashid is going ham right now. Right? Continue, sir. This was, this was somebody that you were friends with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's hear about the intervention steps that you did back then. Even if you didn't want to out him back then, what did you do to try to get him right? Right? Mm -hmm. We don't hear none of that. You just hear a chatty patty, right? A big old, a big old gossiping uh, mess. So I'm not <laughs> buying. I, I listen. Violence amongst anyone is is horrible, especially a man and a woman. Bad, really bad. Fuck that guy. The guys that do that shit. But I'm not saying that he did it just because this fat guy said it. Right? So. That's that's null and void. Them choosing to stick together, regardless of their weird relationship, I think is dope. Why not? Like they're honoring their vows to like ride it the fuck out. So you Ain't would call that loyalty? Would you call that that's a more loyal 
a relationship or would you say that there's disrespect in it? I, I call that unconditional love. Exactly what they said. Gotcha. No conditions to it. And then they're a real example of it. Because look, everybody is, is casting judgment, right? Right. But Because th- nobody know their skeletons. Correct. Their life is blasted out there and we don't even know what's true or not. Right. Mm-hmm. We have no idea, yeah. right? They could be normal as fuck. Mm-hmm. I doubt it, but they could be. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I take this with a grain of salt. When, when news come out, I don't believe shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, nada, right? It's all entertainment to me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Well, but, I got to tell you, this is why I respect you so much. You never, like, you're like a, life is like a box of chocolates with Mike Rashid. You never know what you're going to get. I thought you were going to be like, dude, get the fuck out of there. Right, so I'm a, get out of there. Right, but, like, right, you're basically saying, you're saying, because obviously most men, I've had this conversation with Patrick, but David, with our whole team, with other guys, they're like, dude, this woman is dragging you down. She's ruining your life. We've all been like, just jump, ship, abort, pull out, go. But, he but you're like, no, nah, you're, he she knows, she knows where the bodies are buried. He likes it. You think he's into it? He's he's into whatever. He, he's mega rich. He could do whatever he wants. Yeah. He wants her, right? Mm-hmm. So he likes, he loves her. She loves him, Unconditional right? Unconditional love. They love whatever the fuck they got. And here's a, here's another thing. This is the main thing. It don't matter to me. I don't give a fuck. Right. No, I don't no care doubt. what anybody do with, with, with their love But what life. I did want to get into is because most people can definitely take that yeah. that that uh, position of like, bro, it's Will Smith, it's Jada. But there's a deeper level to that, where, mm. which all men will deal with. And it's at what point does, especially publicly, disrespect, just making you look bad, um, humiliation, or even some sort of simpish, weird qualities, at what point would you even tell your buddy, forget about the Hollywood stuff, forget about that, no matter how much he loves that girl and marriage and vows, at what point you're like, bro, this woman is... is uh, like drowning you in we, real life at what point to, be like yo bounce that's under the assumption that the friend literally knows everything about their situation mm-hmm. which nobody ever does you only hear what your friend is telling you that's all we ever know that's why people getting advice about their people should not talk to anybody about their their situations interesting yeah. take because they're not going to give an honest yeah. full complete so I, version right of now anything. we're not even talking about will and jada we're yeah. just talking about anybody, anybody. because you're actually bringing up a really good point. Any time that a girl goes and tries to talk to her girlfriends about advice, it's bad. Oh, yeah, it's not it's good. Bad. Oh, good. If it's a single girlfriend, be Forget very it. weary, yeah. gentlemen. Oh, they're yeah. jealous because that too. single girlfriend's gonna be like, nah, you know, you know, he never treated you like. But if it's the married girlfriend, she's also gonna kind of say like, she's gonna compare you. To she's her, gonna compare. Her well, my husband would never do this or do this. Not, yeah. It's interesting. I think it was, um, Patrick. I'm doing a PBD, a lot of shout out to him. He said, if there's ever an issue with the relationship, I want my wife to go talk to my family and then I'm going to go talk to their family. Mm -hmm. Because you know that they have their son or daughter's best 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 interest. So when you go crisscross with it and be like, they're going to give you advice that like coming, stemming from you know what you're getting. But with the intention and the understanding of we want this relationship and this marriage to work. I remember in the in the uh, value timing event that yeah, he was the vault? explain yeah the vault. he was he was explaining that exactly he said like before I actually got engaged with my wife I asked her what were the five people that she was gonna run towards when we have a problem yes and I love that because when I talk to the girls that I'm always teaching like training I tell them like yes you have to make money yes you do this blah, blah, blah. but don't forget about the feminine side. And don't forget that you have to respect. Don't forget, like, those little things. And also, if you are having any problem with your partner, you have to go and look at advice for someone who is always in a better position. If you are going to ask an, uh, a money problem, like a business problem, to someone that doesn't even own a business, you ain't going yeah, anywhere. That's right. Uh, great point. That's right. What else do you remember that PBD said? Because you were at the vault. He said that yes, at the vault. I remember right that. Right in front. And right. he, well, no, he was like incredible. The, I mean, the side that it just, I just love the fact to have someone as successful as he, as he is, having as a relationship as successful as he has. Because mm-hmm. that's an example of that you can have a lot of money, but also a great relationship in, in an honest relationship. It, it is possible. Yo, but, and, and, and I respect a lot what you said. And I think the problem that you had with him uh, was that she hates me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was that you didn't understand the side, the, the point that he said about the honesty. So when you're honest, 
there's so many people who is willing to do anything for whatever desire they have, you know, right, even if it's a woman or a man. Unfortunately, nowadays, there is no mo many women that had feminine values or traditional values as before. So that's why people can do like accept some things. So it's not that oh, everybody thinks. Can I get same. my rebuttal? Yeah, go ahead. So I agreed with what you said about following the advice of people you respect and admire. Like, don't. It's so funny because we idolize Will and no, Jada no, for so many sorry, years. Sorry, not that respect and admire, but that you see yourself like. Yeah. That's okay. someone that is in the position that you wish you are. Yeah, okay. Were. No, exactly. Thank you for that. But it's more so where in terms of the... Will Jada, sorry, I'm like fogging out. But basically, you could see from Will and Jada that there it's become so toxic that is he really happy? Like, I'm sure they were honest with each other. They were honest of like, hey, I'm going to go. I mean, even on her podcast, he's he she told him like, hey, I'm going to go sleep with, you know, our son's friend. Right. I mean, she admitted to that. But look where that end. You could see on the Fox podcast. I mean, they pull up that meme of his face kind of being like, uh, you know, I am not comfortable with this. So they're together in this marriage. But to what extent? Like, honesty is great, yes, unconditional love, but when you're in such a toxic environment, and, when, and I've been in, like, I've been in a relationship where I was in it way longer than I should have, and it was so toxic, but I was like, you know what, I love this man, like, we're gonna work it out, and my biggest regret was that I didn't end it sooner. Like, mm. I, to this day, I'm happy where I ended up, like, I love, I'm with the man of my dreams, but to this day, I sometimes, like, think to myself, I'm like, damn it, I wish I would have enjoyed my single life more. I wish I would have like really taken the time to build myself, to not go through those traumas. Because now there's times that where I bring up traumas I have to my current relationship. And obviously I've learned to curtail it, but because I went through those traumatic experiences and I feel like Will and Jade are in that situation now where they're just kind of like, you know what, we're just toxic. We're, we're stuck with each other at this point. And so, wow. yeah, but I think like that's the difference. You don't want that, but they're choosing to be there. Like mm -hmm. what he says, he's putting the cards on the table. You take it or leave it. You don't like what I'm doing. Okay. I'll f there may be someone who will be okay with that. Like, I don't like, you might not like it, but like, I don't know, maybe a Jada and Will Smith relationship is not ideal, but you can see even like mm -hmm. in their own toxic reality mm, under our eyes, that's our perspective. You're not leaving that relationship and they seem like you can even see kind of the weird twisted love yeah. under our eyes. You can tell that they love each other and sometimes people, okay, there's mistakes, but you also learn from their, those mistakes and you grow and sometimes you decide to evolve together, to move on, to resolve the issues, to talk about it. Their thing was way too public, but mm -hmm. either they're still choosing to be there. They want to be there. But let I think me, that's part of the marriage as well, as when you get married to someone, you're committing, technically, you're committing, you say, I'm committing to you and whatever problems come with this relationship. Yes, is there a point where it maybe it becomes too much? Sure, depending on what you're willing to take, right? You know, clearly they're willing to take this. I think the only difference with these guys is that their stuff is just public. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another, or if you want to watch the entire SauceCast, click right here.